So I have the same problems you guys all have. Um, eventually I just get worn down and I, I have to blow money. So I am buying that Yesu 400. Billy's gonna program it for me right now. That's awesome, saves me something I don't have to do. <laughs> Impromptu video here. We got Bob. You got this Yesu FTM 400 XD, and you're gonna set it up with a tablet. Is that right? Yeah. What we're gonna do? We're gonna load in the RT system software right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Onto the uh, FTM 400 with about 420 different memories. Okay. So my fingers are not very small, and on a tablet. Oh, that is like a small. This, that is a small it, screen. It's send data to radio, so we go uh, like that. Yeah. And try and get it. I don't know. I guess. No, it looks see. like you did it. Let's see. Connect the cable. Make sure the radio's on. And uh, send data to radio. Oh, looks good. Okay, so okay. so I've got it in other to this radio, and that's what it says to do. Mm -hmm. Touch OK on the radio. Move quickly before it times out. Oh. <laughs> so, so you got to do what now? Touch OK on the radio, move mm -hmm. quickly before it times out, and click OK to start the transfer. So, this radio. Okay. 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 And then OK. And now it transfers. Look Is at it? there. How, wow. Look at the line right there. See, it's putting all those memories in. And, and over here it shows it's receiving on this, on the radio itself. Yep, yep, I see that. Yeah, it's showing receiving. And they're, they're doing their, their work together. So this uh, software you're running, what's the what's the programming? All those channels. Um, Is that something you guys worked up? Well, no, it's real easy. All you do right here, if you look on the uh, settings area up here, mm -hmm. uh, there's a drop-down menu that says external data. And all you do is you just say external data, and then it'll say, oh. uh, do you want to get it from uh, repeaterbook.com? Oh, I see. It'll give you different choices, and you select one. Yeah. And then what it does is it goes ahead and it downloads all of the information right. by zip code. Right. So you put in your favorite zip code that you want. Now let's say you're planning a trip to Las Vegas. You can actually download that zip code plus 50 miles. Mm -hmm. And then you can tell it to load all of the names by uh, city rather than call sign. Right. Because you don't really care that it's an N7ABC right. call sign. You right. just want to know it's Las Vegas or, or where it happens to be. And over here, pretty quick. we've got... How many, how many is it? Well, what I did, I said everything in Orange County plus about 600 miles. Oh, wow. And oh, so that's... <laughs> Everything. You probably got like a thousand uh, entries. Oh, yeah, I got all the way to Phoenix and Las Vegas and wow. up to San Francisco. How many memories does this have? Uh, how many memories? Yeah. It could do up to a thousand. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're, we're actually, um, oh, look, we're getting full here. And it should be done here in a minute. Okay. That is and, impressive. Yeah, all that on a little tablet. This is a Windows tablet. Yeah, what is what tablet is that? Um, I bought it used. It's an HP. I paid 75 bucks for it online. Oh, that's not bad. And, uh, so it's a re reconditioned tablet. Is it running Windows? Yeah, it runs Windows 10. Oh. And in fact, uh, oh, I got to get one of those so I can yeah, run JT right uh, FT8. Check it out. You've got it. It's it's working good because uh, here's our memories here. Let's see memories. A VFO memory. Okay, here's all the different memories. Yep, they're in there. See, just like that. So you can leave APRS on the low side and it'll it'll squawk oh, yeah. out if is that how it works? Yeah, I know you've you got that all here, set up. Hit memory mm -hmm. and then uh, select uh, select the appropriate memory, I guess, if it's oh it's over here though. No, hang on. Something I learned after taking my FTM four hundred home is that you actually have A slot and B slot memories which is pretty cool because you put APRS as a memory channel on the B slot so that when you're scanning on the A slot, you don't have to listen to the APRS. So that's uh, pretty handy. More to come on that. We're going to put her call sign in here. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and just uh, give them your call sign and ask for a radio check. Get away. Oh, this. What was your call again? 
KM6 PR6, this is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. That's a good radio check. You made it. You made it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Josh. KM6 PRC. Yep. You can expect an FTM 400 review in the future. I'm having a lot of fun with the radio and uh, also FT2DR review coming up soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit subscribe. Hit that bell because it'll notify you when I stream, which is every Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, guys. Take it easy. See ya.